Huyo mtu ambaye anaitwa Sauli sio yeye kukaa chini ya mti. Kuna watu ambao wengine uko Bible wamekaa chini ya miti na maisha yao yakaharibika. Talk about Raija. Wakati aliyebona Jezebel ya kwamba tonight lazima wao mwenyewe utakufa. Aliona kifo, akaenda chini ya mti na akamwambia, "Father, kill me now." Maana alikuwa amefika mwisho. There was another prophet kwa Bible ambaye alikuwa ametumwa Bethel aende akana naye anota. Then ile ota mbaya ikavunja chika before malizi assignment akafika kwa barabara akakuta mahali kuna mti akakaa chini ya mti hapo ndipo ye mwenyewe nisikize hapo ndipo ye mwenyewe yule prophet ambaye alikuwa mzee alikuja kamkuta kwa mti how i wish hangeketi kwa mti leo nimekuja kuambia watu ambao wanasikiza amka kwa kale ka mti umekaa kama utegawe sokia kale ka mti kakuwa na kwamba nimekataliwa kale ka mti kakuwa na kwamba ni mimi tu kale ka mti kakuwa na kwamba sitaendelea get out under that tree in jesus mighty name i thank god for nathaniel wakat nathaniel kwa na encounter love jesus jesus christ alimwambia wakati ulikuwa umekaa under fig tree i saw you wakati ulikuwa chini ya mti nilikuona so mungu aliamsha nathaniel kutoka pale kwa mti ndikiria today mahali umekaa mungu anakuamsha in jesus name Angalia mwanzo wa mbiti it's time to arise now. Mwambie inuka sasa. Jonathan akasema kwamba hatakaa chini ya mti. Kama babake. Hebu tusome kidogo tusome. Au tusome kwa nguvu 1 2 Soma kwa nguvu 1 2 eh. One day Jonathan son of Saul said to the young man. Angalia mwanzo wa mbiti Jonathan. Angalia mwanzo wa mbiti Jonathan. Siku moja akachoka kukaa kama babake. Siku moja siku moja akachoka kukaa mahali babake amekaa. Why Jonathan? Jonathan is a prophetic name and I thank God for Saul for giving this his son such a wonderful name. Because the name Jonathan means Jehovah has given. Jehovah has given. So I believe Jonathan alikuwa anaamini kwamba Jehovah amepeana grace ya kuendelea na safari. Jehovah amenipia victory. Jehovah amenipia chochote na hitaji. So the name Jonathan means Jehovah has given. Kwa hivyo chochote alikuwa anafanya alikuwa anaamini kwamba Jehovah amepeana. Can I tell you? Chochote unahitaji for godliness. Chochote unahitaji kwa maisha yako. Baba amekupea in Jesus mighty name. Victory that you need baba amekupea. The healing that you need baba amekupea. Kwa mapigo tumepona si ati kwamba tutapona. It is a done deal. Ara wakati sasa unasubiriwa na mapepo. Baba unasema kwamba umepewa power ya ku defeat demons in my name. Jesus Christ sema kwamba kwa jina yake tunafukuza mapepo. So John Adam inamaanisha kwamba Mungu amenipea akachoka kukaa mahali babake alikuwa na kata katafuta ama baya ya wake akamwambia kwamba yes i know si mimi nilikuwa nimepoa this assignment i know here assignment ilikuwa ni ya my father but i can tap this grace but i can operate with the grace baba atanipea although si mimi nilikuwa nimeanoyantiwa hilo baya ameanoitwa ni my father I'm ready kufanya kile ambacho my father ameshindwa kufanya. Mimi nataka watu wangu nisikiza. Wanasema kwamba kile ambacho wazazi wangu hawakufanya. I'm the one to do it in Jesus mighty name. Ile milango walishindwa na kupenetrate na kupenya. Ile milango walishindwa na kuivunja. You have the grace ya kufanya kile ambacho hawakufanya. Wacha kutikompea na your father. You can compare na your father. So, hebu angalia Bible nasema kwamba but he did not tell his father kiondoka ile hatua anataka kuchukua Jonathan hakuwa na limit god bali kitu kwanza alifanya aliangalia nani ambaye wataconnect na yeye kwa safari yake maana kwa safari yako you need to understand nani ambaye unafaa connect na yeye then alafu akaelewa akiambia babake anaenda kwa vita babake ataanza kumuonyesha kwamba hataweza remember the story of same same father Saul with David wakati David alisema kwamba anaenda kupiga na Goliath alikuwa anamwambia kwamba hautaweza hautaweza huyo Goliath amekuwa kwa vita kuanzia wakati alikuwa mwanalika wewe sasa ni mwanalika sasa hauwezi hiyo vita that's it so and i believe still Jonathan akiambiwa hivyo na babake na swali una kwamba hata shia na babake then akajua kwamba babake already amekataliwa ako rejected ajua kwamba nikimwambia ata ni limit is good to understand wakati unataka kuchukua hatua fulani kuna watu ambao 
ara ikiwa wanakaa kama your father ara ikiwa kuna mambo wamekuwa kwa salvation sana si kila mtu utaambia kile ambacho unataka kufanya si kila mtu utaambia kile ambacho unataka kufanya that's what happened hakumwambia then akamwambia mambo let's go now and listen now kile ambacho kilifanyika angalia verse number 2 angalia verse number 2 now listen to this verse number 2 look at this hebu soma hapo baba kiliko wapi chini ya mti that's it verse number 2 nasema kwamba baba kiliko chini ya mti so jonathan kusema kwamba na cross over alikataa kukaa level ya babake alikataa kukaa chini ya mti alikataa kukua na stress mahali pale alikataa ile hali nasema kwamba taking a step of faith ninaenda hii vita imekuwa kwetu wafriso wametupiga sana they are generational enemies lazima ni dini wao hata ikiwa ni mimi peke yangu na katikuwa hatua imani angalia next verse angalia next verse vile baba anasema next verse inatuonyesha kwamba ile company ilikuwa na babake babake anakaa na kina hijo na hijo alikuwa priest na priest hasaidi usaiona watu mbomu na kana wao na hawakusaidi and i believe a hija ya mwenyewe hakusaidia saori kwa sababu a hija ya mwenyewe alikuwa amekataliwa remember i rain age yake ni ya eri na house of eri was already cast na ukuhani wa eri ukafikishwa mwisho so ni kama vile tu ufalme wa sodom umefikishwa mwisho nao Uf, uh, then ukuhani wa eri uko umefikishwa mwisho nao so now priest who from that time age wako pamoja kumaanisha kwamba <laughs> Saul ya meconnect na mtu ambaye already ako rejected. That's the thing. Na hawezi mwambia atoke pale. But Jonathan akawa ni tofauti. We need watu ambao wanafanya kama Jonathan. Wanasema kwamba kile watu wanaogopa kufanya, mimi nitakifanya. Kile watu wanaogopa kuitisha mimi nitaitisha. Hatua watu wanakataa kuchukua mimi nitaitukua. That's a step of faith. Unasema kwamba watoto wangu watasoma. Mimi ndoa yangu itasimama. Mimi masomo yangu nitaendelea nayo. Maana you are doing it by faith. Kujua kwamba you are not limiting God. Now listen to this. Angalia next verse. Angalia next verse now. Look at this. Look at this. Angalia. Kwenye hii safari ya Jonathan kielekea mahali wa Frist walikuwa wapigana vita kuna mlima alikuwa napanda na kwenye ule mlima palikuwa na mawe aina mbili boses na sene hii moja inamaanisha kwamba thorns sene inamaanisha thorns hii nyingine inamaanisha namna gani angalia hebu tusome verse number 4 angalia verse number 4 tusome kwa nguvu 1 2 3 Mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Boses. Ina maanisha namna gani? Shining or slippery. Remember na kwa kwa mlima. So kuna jua imechomoka side hii na side hii nyingine. Hii moja ni ina shine but slippery. Remember ni mlima anapanda. Mahali wa Frisu walikuwa juu ya mlima. Wao walikuwa mahali chini. So ili afikie wao, kale kaji alikuwa anapitia, lazima angepanda kwa mlima, ngangane kupanda mlima. Na sasa akipanda mlima, kuna jua side hii ina shine but slippery. Hii kina sasa inakaa mimba inamdunga. Imagine. Na lazima apande mahali pana anapitia hapo. So Jonathan akorede hata kudunga dungo kwa safari. Akorede hata kutereza kwa safari. But hata akiteleza, hata kidunga dungo kwa safari. Alikuwa anajua kwamba kudunga dungo na kuteleza hakuta nizuiria kuendelea na safari. Kwa maisha yako. Angalia mwanzo kumwambia kuna wakati unaweza teleza hata ukiteleza waendelea. Hey, Hautaiweka biashara kutoka kwa hiyo biashara imeteleza hiyo. <laughs> That's it. Hautaiwe na kwamba umekuwa engaged na imeteleza. Hautaiwe na kwamba kuna mambo unaombea but yameteleza. Anapitia mahali pa kuteleza, mahali pa kudunga dungwa. I know ngo na watu ambao wamedunga dungwa na marafiki wao. Hey, hey, yes, 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 yes. That's it. That's one dimension. But still I thank God. Kwa maana mahali alikuwa anapitia ile jia akipanda mlima, aende kupigana vita na Ofristi. Jua moja linamaanisha thorns. Jua hili gine ni shining but slippery. Tunao kwamba hii inaongea about the gospel. Ninakukumbusha kwamba there is 
chini sasa ambayo ilichukua my tones so that i may shine ndio akipita mahali pale oh tu anateleza najua kwamba yes hiyo mimba Jesus Christ alichukua so alipitia mahali pale akiwa bado anateleza baada hakukwama remember wako wawili no wafristo wako watu wengi sana babake ameketi chini ya mti haangalii babake anaenda by faith angalia next verse video bwana sema angalia next verse video bwana sema angalia jump verse number 6 jump verse number 6 angalia eh tusome pamoja 1 2 Jonathan said to his young ambara akasema namna gani come let us go over to the outpost of those and and circumcised to what fellows so anaita wafrisi watu ambao hawaja tahiliwa akini mwenza kumwambie Jonathan alikuwa na covenant mentality Hebu kama mwanzo kumwambia alikuwa na covenant mentality. That's the thing. Alikuwa na covenant mentality. Remember kwa Bible Old Testament circumcision was a sign of the covenant. So wakati wa Fristi anasema kwamba hawajatahiliwa. Kile ambacho anasema ni ya kwamba they are outside the covenant. Kwa hivyo Jonathan anajitia nguvu anasema kwamba I'm protected by the covenant. Wow, they are outside the covenant. Hawajatahiliwa. I am inside the covenant I'm protected by the covenant. That's the mentality wa Kristo ndofaa kuwa nayo. The covenant of the cross imerida maisha yako. The covenant of the cross imerida mpaka kazi yako. The covenant of the cross it defeat mpaka wachawi mpaka waganga. And the time when anataribu kuinukia and you have the mentality of the cross you don't fear wachawi why? You understand the power of the covenant and declare today may the power of the covenant fight for you in Jesus name chochoto unapitia covenant imeshughulikia hakuna mwezo kumwambia chochoto unapitia covenant imeshughulikia watu ambao tuko na nyinyi hapa watu ambao wanafuata mpaka kwa facebook whether the cancer inakufuata jesus christ defeated cancer have covenant mentality whether ni asa zinakufuata whether ni tumor zinakufuata Whether the rejection na kufuata whether the aibu inakufuata Jesus Christ has defeated that have covenant mentality kile ambacho napitia oh god thank you mna ka have victory because of the covenant of the cross yes and atabia na victory because of the covenant so Jonathan na kona covenant mentality anasema kwamba let's cross over anambi ama bear wake kuja kuja twende tupigane na wafristi the reason letu napigana na wafristi now hawajatahiliwa they are outside the covenant they are not protected But then do you remember that was a mentality of David? David akaenda kupigana na Goliath. Alita Goliath hajatahiriwa. That's if you if your David still alita Goliath. Meaning alikuwa anasema Goliath, you are outside the covenant. Man like anybody ambaye anajua the part of the covenant, ukipitia vita kwa familia au vita kwa kazi yako, you face kid ambacho unapitia with the mentality of the finished work of the cross with the mentality of the cross and what happened mahali pale so that's why unasikia kwamba anawaita kwamba hawajatahiliwa hebu angalie vile anasema perhaps the lord who act in our behalf Now look at this nothing this is jonathan tusome kwa nguvu alafu jiambie what to three jiambie what to three anataka part hii mwisho anataka ipart ya mwisho nao jiambie nothing from there jiambie what to three What on Facebook you be ever see your part 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 B 1 2 nothing ah arudia kuna kitu what about corona what about rana za kwenu what about cancer what about kukataliwa what about stagnation bible nasema nothing can do what can hinder the lord from Save the one saving there is delivery or deliverance nothing can hinder god from bringing deliverance to you nothing 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 ah you don't understand what i'm saying whether what when we kukata nothing can hinder lord from saving you whether uko na kazi nothing can hinder lord from saving you whether what we kuna na we ni bure wewe hata unatembea aje unakaaje hata sura yako inakaaje nothing can hinder the lord from saving you that was jonathan nasema kwamba yes i know my father 
amekataliwa I know my father amepukunyo pakopokonyo kingdom but that one cannot hit the god Mane kekira my father amefanya ni amefanya si mimi That's it So alikuwa anajitia nguvu na anambia mabeana wake hakuna kitu ambacho kinazuguria Mungu Kanisa na watu bora nisikize wana nifuatilia nimekuja na this message Nan hakuna mtu ambaye atazuguria Mungu akutendee muujiza I say it again this month of May hakuna mtu ambaye atazuguria Mungu kufanya kile ambacho anataka kufanya kwako if Mungu ameamua ni promotion na your manager aseme hautakuwa promoted baba naweza ondoa your manager there ukuwe promoter manake nothing Don't joke. There was one officer ambaye mfalme alikuwa anawekelea mkono wakati prophet Raisha alikitangaza akasema kwamba tomorrow kutakuwa na chapati watu watakuwa chapati tomorrow. Then akasema hata mungu kifungua bingu na dirisha za bingu hiyo haiwezi tendeka. Then prophet akamwambia utaona but hautakula. Utaona but hautakula. That's what happened wakati muujizi ulitendeka Mungu akitumia watu wena wenye ukoma and i believe personally after that encounter wakati Mungu aliamplify miguu yao i believe walienda kwa nyumba huko wamepona that's me i don't want to be theological hapo kwa sababu naweza kuwa theological kidogo maneke hao watu walikuwa pale wenye ukoma kuna watu ambao wanasema kama historically there were signs of Yes, yes, historical sana kana kwamba alikuwa na hegage hazi na watoto wake. Wachana hiyo. That's historically. But if Mungu alitumia watu wenye ukoma kutenda muujiza, what about his sons? If when azatumia watu ambao hawezi tembea vizuri, what about sisi ambao tuko ndani yake? Yule mjamaa ambaye alikuwa anasema Mungu hawezi alikanyagiwa kwa gate kanyagiwa pale that's it and i want to declare hakuna mchawi atazuilia kile Mungu anataka kwako whether wakuroke whether watembee wapi whether walete nini hawatazuilia kile baba anataka nothing can hit the god from save nothing that was a statement of faith statement of faith how is it come watu wanatembea wanasema kwamba nothing can hit me ni some wale ambao wanasoma how is it nasema kwamba watu wanasema nothing can hit me ni fanye kazi yes nothing nothing can hit all watu ambao na believe god kile watu wanaamini angalia next verse of that angalia next verse video babu inasema angalia ama bera anamwambiaje anamwambiaje do all that you have in mind his amabeara said go ahead i am with your heart and ah hakuna mwezo kumwambia unahitaji watu kama hao watu ambao watakuwa encourage wakati unasema kitu unakwambia do go do it that's why bora unahitaji a helper bibi hafai kuwa bibi sumbua au mzee sumbua ndio nakumbuka kuna wazee sumbua na bibi sumbua Yes. Unahitaji watu ambao wanakubaki vision that you are carry. Even pastors we need watu ambao to back the vision. We have the vision kama ya kujenga. Tuna kuna watu ambao nasema hey, pastor hiyo kutawezekana kuna hiyo pesa. You need watu ambao nasema kwamba hey, pastor go ahead. We are supporting you. Hata nimepride 5k. You need mtu ambao ukiambia kwamba unaweka kampuni anakuambia brother anakuambia kwamba yes hiyo kampuni Mungu atakupea pesa. Odo hauna pesa, but you're doing it by faith. Unaenda niliambia watu hapo baada ya kwanza, unaenda kutafuta mpaka mahali unanunua plot. Na hauna pesa, but unaitafuta by faith. Kitu kwa Mungu na provide. Au mahali tuweka biashara by faith. Ama biara ana support Jonathan. Anamwambia kwa your vision, go ahead. I am with you. Heart and soul. Kwa pamoja mbaking you. Jonathan how gopi maadui Jonathan and I believe the covenant Jonathan and I believe God Angalia what happened next Angalia what happened next now Oh my god Jonathan said come then we will cross over toward the man 
and let them see hata kujificha anasema acha nione lakini mwanza kumwambia kuna wakati watu wanafaa kukuona hata wakati hauna kazi wacha wakuone wakati uko chini wacha wakuone ili wakati baba atakuinua anasema kwamba na huyu tulikuwa tunamjua huyu huyu si alikuwa na si alikuwa tulikuwa tunasoma naye yes angalia then angalia vile walisema anasemaje if they say to us wait there until we come to you we will stay where we so angalia sema kwamba wacha tuone tujionyeshe kwa wao wakituambia kaeni hapa tukuje tutajua kwamba Mungu haja tutuma twende pale kupigana vita meaning Jonathan anaamini the guidance of the Lord otu anaenda kwa vita anaamini kwamba Mungu anamguide na Mungu anamdirect angalia next verse angalia but if they say come up to us we will cry boss wakituambia kujeni kujeni that will be a sign Mungu ametupeana kwenye amewapeana kwenye mikono yetu that was a thing then angalia what happened angalia what happened first number 11 so both of them showed themselves to eh eh look what fristy say there and as much they are out of there they were as me oh agarieni agarieni wametoka kwa mashimo walikuwa natogopa wametoka kwa mashimo mahali walikuwa wamekaa wametoka kwa mashimo agarieni eh agari agari wakasema namna gani agari basi povu akasemaje the men of the eh shouted to and he is wakasema namna gani come to us we will teach you a hawako wanajua kwamba vile umeongea you are already defeated you are dead men now mumekufa nyinyi kwa sababu hiyo statement imeonyesha kwamba Mungu amewa guide na Mungu anaoongoza waliposikia kwamba umeambiwa kwamba waende na wako remember Wafrisi wako juu ya mlima eh Jonathan anakoa yako mlima na anaenda kupigana na watu ambao there are so many of them ni wengi sana na wao wako one watu wawili watu wawili watu wawili with faith and god and don't forget Jonathan akaenda kupigana na vita alikuwa na vitu tatu alikuwa na sword spear na staff sword speaks of the word spear speaks of prayers Staff speaks of authority. Hizo ndizo walikuwa nazo tu hizo. Hizo ndizo walikuwa nazo. Walipoambia kwamba waende. Wakasema bas, Mungu hawa anawa defeat. Angalia angalia what happened next. Angalia what happened next now. Ha, tusome pamoja hapo. Rapa kora shataka. Wakazidi kupanda mlima. Wafristo wako juu. Wao wako chini wakazidi kupanda. Bible inasema kwamba walikuwa wanajishikilia kwa miguu na mikono. Remember kuteleza Remember kuduga dubwa wanajisikia kwa miguu na mikono but still wanapanda. They are, they, wanakaka na kwamba they are struggling but with God. Wanapanda wakijisikia kwa miguu na mikono. Wafristo wakija Jonathan anawashika na wangusha na huku nyuma hawa bera na kata kichwa. Anakamata na rusha na hapo na kata kichwa. Hivyo ndivyo Jonathan alikuwa anafanya. Angalia next verse. What happened? Don't miss this now. Angalia ni watu wangapi waliuliwa na Jonathan? 20 of them watu 20 ana anapanda mlima hao wako juu but wakuwa watu wawili wame manage kuwa watu 20 remember walichukua hatua ya imani remember Mungu hakuambia wainuke eh? walinuka by faith remember remember alijitanganisha na baba yao wakaenda kuamini baba na wapigania hao ishiko na watu mbona mimi nakoma kile ambacho napitia baba na nipigania How is it come to know that the battles are I'm fighting God? Sita ogopa, you're fighting my battles. Angalia what happened. Verse 15 ndio inanijenga sana na ndio naidikalea mpaka kwako kuanzia siku leo. Angalia what happened kwa maadui. May this now it happen sasa hivi katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Angalia verse 15 Bible nasema kwamba then panic struck who? The whole. The whole. Wa first what? What was it took up? What is happening? Hawakuelewa wakakamatwa na mstuko. Do you know kile unaogopa kinakuogopa? Eh, hebu soma pale tusome. Hebu soma. E, kwa nguvu watu wa watu Facebook tusome kwa nguvu angalia verse 15 ha. 
those in the watu wa bao walikuwa kwa hema wakastuka ehe kwa field wakastuka ehe wakastuka na wale bao walikuwa wamejipanga kwa groups wakastuka and then the bible says the ground ilitingizika there was an earthquake so Jonathan waliona tu by faith wakuwa watu wawili but heaven it can intervene heaven ukiona watu wao na tabia na faith heaven ukiona watu wao na weka biashara na faith heaven ukiona watu wao na sema kwao kutasimama by faith heaven ukiona watu wao na sema kwamba kwetu magonjwa na disappear heaven ina intervene heaven ina intervene kukawa na mtetemeko maadui wakastuka na wakatetemeshwa i declare today chochote kinakufuata kitetemeshwa na Jehovah God because of your faith Jonah na mtu kutu hatua imani there was an earthquake maadui wanatetemeka angalia what happened there was a agoja hiyo part 15 ya mwisho tusome ya mwisho Haya ya hebu hebu malize ya mwisho sasa nikikunywa maji hapa Haka kapata mwisho kana samaji It was a panic sent by So nani ambaye alikuwa anapigania Jonathan Vita Haya Jonathan alikuwa amemwagirwa mafuta ya kuwa ndiye kiongozi Nani ambaye alikuwa na mafuta ni babake ni alikuwa na mafuta baba ya baba yake amekataliwa si amekataliwa na Mungu Mungu amekosa kutumia Jonathan kwa sababu babake amekataliwa Mungu ametumia Jonathan hata babake kwa amekataliwa nataka kuputi statement no matter kile ambacho babake walifanya bado Mungu atakutumia Nazafi <laughs> Jonathan alitumwa na Mungu. So nani ambaye anapigana vita? Ni Jonathan au ni Mungu? Nani ambaye anapigana vita vyako ni wewe au ni Mungu? So ni nini kinahitajika kwako? Only a step of faith. Prayer spear. Sword wand. Staff authority. That's it. Hii vita ya corona sisi tunaipigana kazi yetu ni kusema na vile neno limesema na tunaomba na tunasimama na authority huko kwingine tunaatia Mungu afanye kazi yake Agnes anasema mwambie do your part hii wengine wacha nayo <laughs> achie Mungu afanye kazi yake na chochote ambacho unapitia Mungu anakupigania hiyo vita let me surprise angalia what happen angalia what happen angalia let me surprise you eh angalia Saudi yako wapi Talk to me church. Saudi ya kwapi? Hai ako wapi? Do you remember ako wapi? Ni nini anafanya gibia? Hello. Amefanya nini pale? Bado amefanya nini? Ameketi chini ya mti. Na Mungu anatumia nani? What if Jonathan angeamua kukaa hapo chini ya mti? Mungu angemtumia. Bona alimtumia. Ni kwa maana alisimama na akaamua kuchukua hatua. Angalia mwanzo kumwambia simama wacha ukaa hapo. Una complain eh Jehovah God kwetu, unakaa kwa mti kwetu Jehovah God eh hey, hey, sijui nini, walikufa na nini? Come on, shut up. Wachana hiyo toka kwa hiyo mti endelea. God is going to fight all your battles. That's it kana kwamba Jordan na magekaa pale sasa hii hatungesoma the victory of god hatungeona vile Mungu angekuwa anampigania kanisa mungejua kile ambacho baba anafanya kwa ajili yetu mungejua kwamba vile Mungu anatupigania mungejua yale mawazo baba anatuwaza hamga kwa mna complain even through corona it will work out for your own good in jesus mighty name I tell you to work out for your own good you may not understand it as far now but as time goes utakuja kutoa a very powerful testimony I told what about to go now jana na unisikiza kwa Facebook God I put this in my spirit kuna mambo amekubarisha rhino yafanyike kwa sababu church imekaa sana dormant church imekaa tu kwa four walls and you see our calling haikuwa calling ya kukaa kwa kanisa hivi remember kanisa la Jerusalem wakati walijazwa na roho mtakatifu kwa na enjoy speaking tongues and interpreting tongues but about ro 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 tete 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 takala wakaenjoy pale and they were not called kukaa Jerusalem 
Waliamua kama ukijazwa na Roho Mtakatifu, mnafahamu muende Judea, muende Samaria and all over the world, but wao walikaa Jerusalem. Kwa maana anasikia vizuri sana wakiombewa. Wanasikia vizuri sana Peter akipita, then the shadow the reflection of the glory of God juu ya Peter, ikigusa watu wakipona. Wana enjoy. Do you know what God did? Mbona nasema kwamba pale Jerusalem pakawa na persecution. Then watu wakaskata. Wengine wakaenda Judea, wengine Samaria. So wakati kulikuwa na persecution, there was a time the purpose of God was fulfilled. So God allowed the battle to fulfill his purpose. I know kanisa imekaa imekwama, imekuwa stagnant for so long. Watu wamekaa kwa kanisa, hawa hubiri kwa watu. God is opening doors. That's why watu wamepotelea kwa Facebook na YouTube this is what we call great commission that's what we are called to do Jesus Christ had come disciples for under three years akawatuma angere mwanza kama muulize umekaa kanisa for how long muulize tena umekaa kanisa for how long umezeeka ya kutosha. Okay, muulize, muulize ni watu wangapi umeleta hapa kanisani? Okay, muulize ni watu wangapi umehubiria? Kile ambacho umepoa hapa wangapi umehubiri umeleta touch? Mwambie kujua hii si kushitana hapa we are sons of the right hand. Sa side sisi, si watu wa mkono wa kulia, si watu ambao hii si tunabiana. Muulize muulize umehubiri watu wangapi? That's why Mungu amefanya hii kitu itendeke ili watu wasikate wende wahubiri njiri. Uhubiri ukuwa kwa nyumba with your wall. But the problem we have with the Christians, zile witu tunaweka kwa wazetu, ni miugithi, watobo hawaja okoka. You see watobo they are born against, zile witu wana commit, awezi commit kitu kizuri ya kanisi ikiwe kwa pale. Lakini mukiwekewa ya Prof. Sahamo muna comment. Prof. Sahamo is not the first person, kuna watu wengi sana wako huku. Atwenye hata before ukoka ulikuwa na watoto hata 10. Kina mtu eh professor hapo professor hapo na watu wengine ukiuliza hao wako na kama professor hapo hivyo hawasaidii wao. Hai. Bwana mnaniangalia kana kwamba mmoja muinukia eh professor hapo hivyo nini nini. Jeb tai umefanya nini umefanya nini ulikuwa nafaa kunyamaza kunyamaza. Angalia mwanzo kwa bibi neema tu imetuweka. Neema tu imetuweka. Wengine wako na tototo twingi. Huko. Mama bwana zimeza. Na mama unaangalia hivi. Tazi, these are the things that are happening. I believe this is a wake up call. Kwa watu hubiri. Imagine, imagine. Sister unaweza hubiri mtu mmoja. Sister hubiri mtu mmoja. Bro mtu mmoja. Brata mtu mmoja. Sister mtu mmoja. Mtu mmoja. Au ni watu wagapi? Imagine. Imagine tuseme watu 100 wamehubiri watu 100. Wapogo mtu mmoja umehubiri na umeleta hapa touch. Alafu ukuja hapa tumtrain alafu tumtume ende. Unafikiria ni watu wangapi saa hii tunaongea wangekuwa wameokoka? Kanisa imekuwa imekaa chini ya mtu for so long. We need watu kama kama kina Jonathan. Watu both they are ready to fight vita ya kiroho. Kwenda kuhubiri injili no matter what is happening what is taking place. This man of ma, 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 may. Ebu imagine ukiamua ya kwamba nitahubiria one person. Just kila mwezi hubiria mtu mmoja. Mwaka mmoja tuko na watu wangapi? 12. Ebu mtu sema kwamba hata si watu wengi imagine watu 100 wakihubiria watu 12 Mwaka kutakuwa na watu wangapi wameokoka heaven inaweza kuwa ina celebrate Let me ask you since time uliokoka watu wangapi umehubiria wakaja kanisa Akina mwanza kumuulize acha kujibu tumuulize sisi ni watu wangapi umehubiria kwa kanisa ukaokoka watu wangapi Sisi 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 uliokoka unaweza hesabu Imagine. 
Na Jesus said can disciples for how many years? Three. Akawa Sasa kusema kwamba inue mkono hapa ifu meka kwa kanisa for three years tai kuambia inue mkono. But in two inue mkono tu na dani. Inue tu mkono na dani. Si nje inue tu mkono na dani. So miaka tatu. Kama umeko hapa miaka mingapi? From 09. Sitaki kukuuliza kama umeleta watu wangapi hapa? Lakini already nimekuuliza. Imagine. <laughs> Ebu maji <laughs> anasema kwamba amekuja hapa just kuanzia 09. Imagine kana kwamba kama wanaleta kila mwezi mtu mmoja amehubiria mtu mmoja. Mwaka ni watu 12, si ndio? Hiyo miaka yote angekuwa na watu wangapi hapa? Ni kanisa ingine angekuwa na kanisa na hapa. That's it. Sasa kuuliza wabogo wamekuwa hapa for how long? But already nimemuuliza, sitaki kumuuliza. We need Jonathan. What about they are tired kuketi? We are called for evangelism. We are called to evangelize, to preach. And the one Jesus vile Jesus Christ anapenda. Wanyesha vile walikufa kwa msalaba kwa ajili yao. Angalia na kupomaliza. Angalia hapa, angalia. Look at this. Saudi yakuwa ameketi pale chini ya mti. Then Mungu akaanza kufanya kazi because of Jonathan. It is my prayer. Mungu ataanza kufanya kazi kwenu because of your faith. It is my prayer. Kwenu maadui ataanza kutawanyika kwa maana unasimama kwenu ku change. Usicomplain babako alifanya. Ah, ulizaliwa hapo kwa maana sasa ulete mabadiliko from there. That's why you are born in that family. I don't complain kwetu watu walikufa wengi sana. Don't complain my father died. I don't complain. I am there now kusimama. Hebu angalia tusome 1 to 3 verse number 16. We almost through verse number 16 angalia. Eh eh. He saw what? The army melting away in all. Wale maadui Saul alikuwa anaogopa. Akawatazama kwa nokobo anapotea direction zote. Can I declare this? I declare me all your enemies now. Me out away in all directions in Jesus mighty name including cancer, including malaria, including growth zote. Si me out away in all directions in Jesus mighty name. Mbona nasema kwamba maadui atakuja na jia moja, watatoroka na jia saba. Kwa nini wametoroka? Jonathan amesimama. Saudi ame witness wala watu walikuwa naogopa, wanatoroka. Kashidu what is happening? Kuna kuna endelea je? Angalia verse number 17. Angalia verse number 17. Then so say to the men. Eh, master the forces and see who has left us when it was and he is. Wakangalia nani ambaye hako angalia? Yaani ana concentrate. Nani ambaye hako pale? Wakachukia kwamba Jonathan na mabeara wake they are not there. Walienda. Angalia what happened? Angalia. So say to Ahijah, hey, bring the ark of God. Em imagine For all that time, hata zile siku saba alishindwa kugoja. Bona hakuitisha the ark of God. Wakati kumeharibika, that's the time anaitisha the ark of God, a picture of Jesus. Do you know kuma there are so many people today? Wanatafuta Jesus wakati kumeharibika. Pastor, 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 pastor. But I thank God that kutaja huyo brother, but kuna brother ananijenga sana. Aliniambia pastor, nimeamua office zetu. Mimi nitakuwa nalipia office mbili. Kama hivyo. Hata time ya corona alikuwa anatuma 6000 ya kulipia those two offices. Asi kumkubushi yeye alikuwa anatuma. Right. I remember last year hata kuna corona yote time wetu kwetu tunafungwa yote kwetu na hapo offices. Kuna watu kadhaa still walikuwa nasimama na those offices. Wanatuma pesa pasta na mimi nalipa this month. They were calling me. Sauli wakati kumeharibika anasema kwamba Ahija bring the ark. Said yeye anatafuta Mungu ili Mungu aongee ark a type a picture that's a type. Angalia verse number 19 angalia verse number 19. <laughs> Where so was talking to the priest there Tamo likawa namna gani? Ikaikiris mwen mbo angalia hii part unataka So so say to the priest to withdraw your heart. Priest and a consort. Wakati amena kumeharibika anaachana na ark. Ah! 
Wacha 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 Seriously Angalia 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 next verse This is all Angalia then so a no man as a god and went there but eh they fought in toto in toto striking each other with their Saudi wakati aliana kwa vita alikuta kwa baada baada kwa naogopa wote wamechanga toto confusion wamechanganyikiwa wanauana wao kwa wao Nani habari anapigana hii vita God Bwana anafanya hivi because of Jonathan What if Jonathan alikaa kanyamaza What if Jonathan alikataa kuchukua hatua imani Wafristi hawangefanya hivyo Do you know you yourself You are the only person who can limit God si wachawi au waganga Simama no seme God if familia inabadilika watu wetu wanabadilika biashara yangu inabadilika simama by faith uonekana kwamba maadui watachanganyikiwa na wapigane wao kwa wao wale bwana sema kwamba hautaweza wapigane wao kwa wao wale bwana sema kwamba it is over hey. that's what happened angalia the last verse ni kuonyesha angalia hebu soma soma hiyo verse verse number 21 inasemaje who had previously done what with it and had gone up with it so mimi kuna kuna wahibirania wakati waliona kwamba kumeharibika wakatoka saidi ya kina so na Jonathan wakaenda saidi ya maadui sasa wakaanza kuinukia hawa do you know kwamba kuna watu kama hao usiyo na kwamba hata kanisani wakati kumeharibika kuna watu ambao wanaenda saidi ya maadui ah hata pasa wacha na yeye yani ni wahibirania wanaenda saidi ya maadui au jana tukoma hao nakuta kwamba walikuwa walikuwa marafiki wako sana but wakati mambo yako maharibika nao they are part of your enemies now wanasema hey, hey wachana huyu ha tunamjua tunajua tabia zake tunamjua ai ai hivyo ndivyo wahibirania walikuwa wamefanya wakati mambo yaliharibika walikuwa wameenda but i know wakati Jonathan alisimama na Mungu akamtumia kuleta victory wale ambao walikuwa wamepotea Mungu akawa restore can i tell you after victory ile baba anaonyesha na mahali hapa I know Baba Tarata Restoration in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. 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 And I know hata kwa nisani makanisa kuna watu kuna watu mbo walikuwa wamepotea Baba Tarata Restore again. Wakati Mungu ameanza kuonyeshana kwamba the battle si ya sisi ni ya Mungu. Let me surprise you. Angalia. Hii ni ya mwisho tumalize tuombe. Angalia vile Baba anasema tusome hii verse number 12. Baadaye nafaa kuonyesha watu tisa ambao wa limit God namba bomba sabo unafaa ku understand unaweza fanya u limit god kwa maisha yako so hii ni introduction sijaanza kuhubiri nitaendelea kuhubiri sunday kwa sababu hii ni introduction sija kupea those points ambazo unafaa kujua hebu angalia hapa verse 22 tumalize angalia eh when all the who had eh had that they when atoroka they did what hata wale bado kwa kuanza kutokea kuchomoka and John Daniel alifanya kuwa na restoration restoration na wale bado kwa majificha wakawa restored again okay. i believe God church if Jonathan hakuwa na knowledge kama ile iko nayo what about you god is fighting your battle in jesus name simama